Hello, welcome to ASNU. Today we're looking at gasoline injectors again, and in particular the electrical pulse width and duty cycle. So, going right back to basics again, our engine ECU electronic switch pulses the injector, and the injector squirts fuel. Let's have a look in a little more detail at the electrical pulses to the injector and the flow rate from the injector. So on the left hand side we have engine speed. At the moment we've got that set to 6000 RPM, which means we're going to pulse the injectors every 20 milliseconds and that coincides with the time taken for one revolution of the camshaft. We can set a pulse width, uh, that's how long we're going to pulse the injects for, and the duty cycle. So let's start pulsing the injector. Let's start off with a two milliseconds pulse width. And you can clearly see that we pulse the injector every 20 milliseconds. And with a pulse width, of two milliseconds, that means our duty cycle is 10%. Now, the injector is being pulsed for 10% of the time, and our injector, um, we're assuming a perfect injector at this stage, um, which flows 1000 Cs per minute on static flow. So with a 10% duty cycle, we have 100 cc's per minute, which is 10% of 1000 cc. If we continue to increase the pulse width to the injector, and hence the duty cycle, we can see that the flow goes up proportionally with the increase in duty cycle. And we can go all the way up to 100%. So the injector is permanently on. And that is the static flow condition. That's the absolute maximum flow we can achieve from this injector. It's useful to think of duty cycle instead of pulse width, because duty cycle gives the same flow regardless of engine speed, provided we pulse the injector at cam speed. I can demonstrate this by setting the duty cycle to 50%. As you can see, the flow from the injector is 500 cc's per minute at 6000 RPM. We're pulsing the injector every 20 milliseconds. But if I now change the engine speed to 3000 RPM, We're pulsing the injector every 40 milliseconds, so much slower, but the duty cycle has remained at 50% and the flow has remained at 50%. Likewise, if I go even slower in engine speed, we pulse the injector much slower again every 80 milliseconds, but the duty cycle is still 50% and the flow is still 500 cc's per minute. I hope that was useful and thanks for watching.